Hiya, buddy. Don't you remember me? You should. Remember what we tried to do back in 2014? If memory serves, the rope broke, didn't it? It did, didn't it? And we fell on our ass. Why should I say you did? You try to, oh, what's the words? Forget about me, erase me. Thought you could escape, didn't you? <laughs> I admire you for it, I really do. You have the fighting instinct inside you. Most people who create something like me tend to die with me. They don't really make it very long with me. You thought society was out to get you. You thought everyone hated you, didn't you? And all of that anxiety fed into you. And voila, here I am, born, created, inside of your head. But you thought you could weasel yourself away like everyone else does. And although that's what you're supposed to do, you couldn't get rid of me. You've been hiding me inside that little head of yours. Should I say little or should I say big head? Because you do have one hell of an ego. <laughs> uh, you, my fat little son of a bitch, failed where others have succeeded in getting rid of their inner self, their demons. We all have demons in us. You literally allow society and your fear of society to create one inside your head. <laughs> and on one day, one fateful day in 2014, poor Mikey, depressed, all alone, dealing with me, thought he could take one little jump with a flimsy piece of rope and thought he'd be home again, away from me and my taunting and exhibition. Almost succeeded, but when you realize you failed, you just simply try to walk me away. And for the longest time you have, it's been very lonely in there, you know, no one to talk to. Almost how you felt all those years ago when almost all your friends left you behind. People who you thought were your friends, who cared about you, were gone. Didn't want nothing to do with you, did they? <laughs> I can understand why. I mean, who would want to be friends with a pathetic, fat, Autistic piece of shit. Do you want to know a secret? Ropes can be flimsy. A belt. A belt can be even stronger, you know. You should have used one. I must say. It's good to see some things never change. Do you still think that I'm obsessed with the Joker? So you still act like you're the Joker from Batman? Isn't that cute? The new depression demon thinks you're a Joker. You know what? No, you're not a Joker. You are a joke. I'm not weak and vulnerable like I was back then. I've grown. I have friends care about me, and I've been able to validate all that. I was wrong over people back in 2014, back when I was vulnerable, back when I was naive and gullible. Maybe I still am a little gullible, but at least now I know when people are being truthful with me, and I know where they're trying to lie, even if it's lying to protect me from how I'm
I'm supposed to feel when you're around. But you're right about some things. I did a lot of society to make me create you. I did believe that people didn't like me. I did believe that I wasn't worth a shit because of my disabilities, because I'm overweight, because I am not all that pleasant to look at. overcomes all that. And we may look alike, we may sound alike, but we are nothing alike. I'm not like you, and you are definitely not like me. And I think it's time to say goodbye. You think it's that easy? ever had over me.